podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back with Brenna McKenna. Oh, I am in that one too. Yeah. Look, and you got me in bed. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, thanks for doing this. I like your uh, I like your tie dyes. This is good. These are always this is always a good episode. Toe cam. It is a good toe cam. Yeah. I, did we? Did I? Did I ask you about your um, like do you do do you do a lot of OF stuff? I, I do some OF stuff. Are you? I'm like, not the biggest fan of OnlyFans. Why? It's just not fun. It's not a fun platform. Why? Because it's annoying and it's not an app. You don't like? Oh, you don't like what? You don't like how to get to it. It's slow on the internet. The creator part you know, doesn't bother you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Got it. It's really annoying. It's that. It could be. It could be an app. It could be a thing. It could. If it was an app like Instagram, it would be ten times better. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. I just open it up and post. Like, that's a good point. Yeah. I, I don't like get that. notifications, like, you know, like, yeah. it doesn't have things like that. Okay, that's yeah. fair. I yeah. like that. But, uh, but, but I do like the people on my OnlyFans and my fans, and they love my feet. Yeah, I like this. If that's what you were getting at. Sure. Yeah, I yeah. do hell of, like, stuff out, on OnlyFans. Shout out fans. Fans. <laughs> Yes. What's your, wait, what's your go-to foot content? I know uh, I make I sure the know. toes are painted. Okay. Um, Put some toe rings on. What about, remember last time we talked about um, kind of, I don't want to say Let's say on let's say on non traditional fetishes. Um so like what about what about like what about like the the like I've been wearing my 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 toe polish too long that it's chipping off? Right. What about that? That's I haven't tried that. that. That's good for that's good for the that's good for the for the gentleman. Maybe I should try it to see, but I don't want to get embarrassed, but I mean like I'm sure someone will like it. We like everything. But I have not done that. I actually will be like, they'll ask if I've had my toes done. And I will be like, no, I don't have them done right now. I'm not sending you pictures. I'll send you some old ones unless you want ones with no toe polish, but they like colors. Just picture some of, of them are like, I want your French tips. With today's newspaper. I it's old school. It's take a picture <laughs> that you prove that it's right now. Maybe I should do a daily I foot pick every, every morning. I don't know why you wouldn't. The update. Men are gross in a, in the best way. Mm-hmm. Like um, like I used to tell my girl, like she would try to shower before sex. It's like, no, I want I want your pussy with like the day on it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I no, I do know what you mean. I, want I the love day sucking on dick it. like after dick? the long day. Is that right? Yes. A little flavor dick. <laughs> seasoned dick. A little seasoned dick. You can just, just smell the sweat. You can yeah. tell he went. And Into did that. the groceries today. You could you tell he he, he went. went to work, you know, and like was providing. Like you know, he yeah. maybe worked out. This dick tastes a little bit like the it gym in the subway. It just is like mad effort on that, <laughs> you know. I can appreciate that. Like that. A real ass That's man. Funny. Yeah. And sticking my nose in the armpits. Really? You got you have that one? Man. I like when you just need relive a, the moment. I like just when you need a minute. That's my favorite. I like to let her have this minute. Um. All right. Yeah. I don't remember what was happening. I always get distracted when you when you need a minute. Um. No, I was making. I was. I was showing them how like. Yeah. How to get in there? I want to smell it. I want to smell yeah. like seventy five percent sweat, twenty five percent the deodorant that you used in the morning. Okay. Are yeah. you are you like are you pro cologne or or is cologne can go, can can go too far? It can go way too far. I'd actually prefer like just deodorant. Just a dirt. maybe like I don't know maybe a spray in the morning, but I feel like just that's way too much. Just w- and you walk through it. Just spray yes, it and you walk like through it. yes, like in Hollister, and like you how you smell when you go in Hollister. You don't even spray yourself. You walk out. They just you kind of got the air, you know. Yeah, that's a move. Yeah, just go to Hollister on the way home. I actually wore Hollister cologne in high school. Okay, I, I bought it. It was so good. Me and my brother <laughs> both used it, and really? it smells unisex. It's Is like it sweet unisex? and like sexy. I was like, and I was like, super gay. So I'm just I learned that. I learned so much from my sister. She would like she would just she would spray it there and like wait two beats and then just walk through. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Like power walk through yeah. it, and I was like, "Oh, that's how that's how this works. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes, just enough. So that's what I still do. Yeah. No, all I have left is like my grandfather cologne, and I tried to wear it once, and somebody's like, "You smell like an old man," and I was, and I just started crying. I was like, he just died. It <laughs> smells like leather <laughs> and pennies, and I don't know what. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it smells. I mean, it's he chose it, so on purpose, he smells like an old man. But is there a section like if I go in there and I'm like 80, they're like, "No, no, you have to go to the." You have to go over to like yeah. The they send you to where the notes are like spice and the stuff, you know, <laughs> like the like the nutmeg section. Yeah. So like you can smell like pie, and like a little bit like like uh, like pharmaceuticals. Right. 
like yeah. a drugstore. Yeah. You know that smell? Yeah. Like when you walk into a place and it's yes. kind of like, well, I mean, it's like on the top of your, like, like the roof of your mouth. Like I almost wanted to say like, uh, like the hospital. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's well, but but you walk into a place and it smells like like anesthesia. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Uh. That smell always always trips me up. Wait, so do you have a good do you have a good nose first? Like, do you do you like are, who are you the first or last person to know when somebody uh, beefed? What you mean? If somebody farted, are you the first or last person? Do you have a, do you have like a good sn- s- nose? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I like pregnant ladies. Si- what about the um the silent ones? You can't smell. Don't, no, that's what they're kind of no, tricky. You, can't hear. you can smell them. No, you can't smell all the farts, can you? Yes, you've I never can. farted and not been able to smell it. No, I love my own smell, so I just assume it's not there. But no, I, but I'm but I'm in the space now. I don't know. Lately, like I'll I'll be like something's on fire. You know what I think like you need street. to do? What do I need to do? I think you need to bottle your farts. Yeah. Do you think they smell so it's great so and you need to start selling so them on the internet? This is my favorite thing that happens on this podcast. Is I'll interview like people in this business and they'll be like you know what you can do you can sell your underwear people want to buy your underwear like you like like the perception of reality is so like no one wants i promise nobody wants my farts or my underwear they probably they, do though they don't I they wish probably they do though do you know how do you know how happy i would be if i could just like sell like a jar on my fingernails yeah i would be so happy <laughs> If I could pay rent on fingernails and like, what else do I do? Like, I'll like I'll just like locks of hair. I feel like I definitely need to try that. You could. Definitely, I'll let you know how it works. You could definitely, especially since it's only like forty grand to like clone a thing now, mm-hmm. right? Like, uh, like because you can. What like a cat? Yeah, it's like thirty five thousand yeah, yeah, dollars. Like clone you can, your pet or something. Yeah, you can, yeah. Get, you're, you can get a dog clone for forty grand. So yes, just yes, like, yes. Like if I just go to the dog place and I'm like, here, here's, here's. Here's and it's yours. Yeah. I'm like, here's my dog. Yeah. And it's just you and they accidentally make you and they're <laughs> like, sorry, this it's like it's a human, sir. And I'm like, Oh my bad I'm sorry, my bad. Can I just can I have it anyway? How much do you think a human clone should cost? Plus, I mean, I think you just go to the dog place and pretend like it's a dog and it is a human, you only pay the forty grand. Oh, so you're tr- okay, I yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the move. I yeah. So if you What's want, or you could just have a child if you just want another human. Like you want no. another, you want another no, you. No, we're in a creepy place. Yeah, I'm saying you sell your fingernails and then I clone you. We're in creep zone. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, we're in creep zone. I didn't see where you were going yeah, with no, that, no, no, but now no, I do. Wait, can I buy any? See, my brain doesn't work that way. <laughs> can I buy any of your body parts? Or do you have a thing now? Do you have like? No, not yet. You're not molded. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. All right. No. What's the weirdest it's thing? You made me feel bad about myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, but it is a little creepy, right? You're like, you can buy my pussy. You're like, ah. yeah. And the way that they word it, it's like, buy my pussy, and it's like, is it your pussy? You it's, know, but it is their pussy. It's identical. But it's like, buy my it's asshole now. I would rather get my asshole molded first, to okay. be honest, since That's I fair. do mostly anal. Yeah. I feel like that would be the on-brand thing to do that most people would want to fuck first. But and then my mouth, since everyone knows I now call it a throat pussy. Hundred percent. That would be a thing. But what's beautiful about um, anal sex is looking at the vagina. So you have to have at least like. So it would be the you know, uh, sealed up. It would have to be the um, whole bodice, the whole ass yeah. with the whole with the pu- with my pussy that looks like it, and maybe it would even like function. But the whole, the asshole would be the main thing. Yeah, the main the main that's thing. Got, that's got to be the thing. The now. um the main attraction. Yeah, I, I and so that. if you have to have the whole, like, but all the like cheeks and everything, yeah, you but know, then it's like when do you stop? Do you stop at? Do you stop here? Like what about the people that are like into thighs? No, that's too much. Or knees? What if you're into no. you belly buttons? No, then I should get a whole body replica. I, I should guess, be. I right? should become I a sex doll then. Because how do you? F- how do you? And then maybe you guys can. How do you fuck the just vagina thing? Yeah, you you know, ever seen the videos where the guys are just like? I've seen the ones where the thing like is kind. of, It's like a midget thing. Yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, and that they, freaks But they me just out. have the. But then I've seen girls because you know we do customs. I'm like spreading my do legs on camera. Yeah, do the echo? So there's like this, you know, like when when girls like we do customs and stuff and we're like riding, they want us to ride, you know, so we get like these male torsos that actually have the abs too because we have to be able to sit on it and like ride them. You need the anatomical leverage. Yeah, so I'm sure that I'm sure that exists like like random objects. But if it's a girl. You kind of can. Yeah. Well, also, to be fair, men. Like we'll fuck couch cushions, so like it really. Uh, yeah, like men can fuck almost yeah. anything because you have the penis, but I cannot just bounce. You know, I can't. Yeah, and we'll. Fuck I need a little bit more. And here's a secret too: like we'll fuck any part of your body too. Like that's a thing. 
the church said enough is enough. Yeah, they were like, bong. <laughs> bong. <laughs> That's our warning. <laughs> Just a quick bit. It's not based on any times either, what I've noticed. But so, anyway, I, I was talking about uh, fucking random body parts. No, so we're in New York City. You're here for dancing. Yes. For a feature dancing spot. Yes, yes, yes. A midnight uh, show. First time at the club? Yeah, my first time at Sapphire's Times okay. Square. This is only what my second film? feature. My first one was at the 60th Street, so it feels good to be oh invited shit. back. Yeah. And um, I think this club is, like, bigger, kind of like. It's the, sis, it's the sister. It's the sister club, so right? I just. Because they were cool making, they're opening up another one. They it's cool. Like there's a bunch of them, you know. Yeah. So I just feel really one? good. They wanted me back. I That's think right. there's three here alone in the city. Nice. Yeah. And then Vegas. Right, yes. Vegas, the Vegas one was funny for me. I like I love they that. do. A, there's a second room they do comedy in, and um, but then right, right after comedy is like uh, male strippers. Yeah. And so I had accidentally left my camera gear there, and so I had to like run back and get it, and I had to like break into the um, the like fitting room with the male strippers in okay. there. Okay. And it was just all like crazy masculine like fight energy. Because they thought I was like sneaking into like. Did they seem like, all like gay or were balls. they mostly straight or like how did you feel about it? Well, they were super homophobic about me being in there, so that because they were like, you need to pay to walk in here and look at kind us. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and then, how I would be. And then when I found my camera, which all at the time all it was was a, um, I think a, a GoPro, and so somebody had taken a piece of gum and put it on the thing, like that was their like security measure, just put gum on it. Yeah. And then I, but I almost had to like fight my way out. I'm like, the last thing you want to do is fight a naked guy. Definitely. Personally, me personally. I mean, yeah. Some people actually. Because you're straight. That's got to be, that c- that might be a thing. Yeah. Like somebody. You like know, there's female wrestling, like yeah. in porn. Like it's like wrestling and stuff yeah. like that. And the guys love it too. Yeah, I think I did one where where I where I walked in into a, into, there's like giant rooms and like, like over by like uh, Exotica. Yeah. Because it's like the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And so I walked <laughs> in and there was like a mat all out. And the, and the bed was slipped up and I was like, and so I think we did an episode like on the mat. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not into being pinned necessarily. Well, have you ever wrestled on camera? No. Would you? Um, I'd try it. Yeah. Would you want to wrestle a woman or a man? No, a girl. I'd want. I'd want to wrestle a girl. Okay. Kind of like a, a hot one. You want to get a man handle or you want to be the aggressor? No, no. I want it to be like a like a cat fight, but sexual. Yeah. Yeah. But I do don't. I don't want to actually wrestle. But do you want to be like? Do you want to be dominated or do you want to or do you want to whoop ass? No, I wanted to. I want both. I want it I to like be like a back and forth energy. Yeah. yeah, I want it. It's not fun either way. From like uh, like with a girl back yeah. and, like when you go back and forth, you know, like they take you down, they stare at you, and then you're like, you know, bitch, and then like, you flip, <laughs> you know, and then you just like, yeah, that's I'm sexy that. and sweaty and hot. That go that actually here here actually could work <laughs> because there's random stuff you can like jump off of. So you can like elbow in, <laughs> bow, or, like flip in, pull. In. <laughs> I like it. So if I I keep looking over, I'm just gonna tell the people, the listeners, that I keep looking this way because my hair and makeup artist yeah, and my best friend is over here, yeah, and so I'm looking know. at her like we about to wrestle, bitch. <laughs> we're, we're also like looking for like confirmation on stuff. We're like, I she's don't funny. Know. She's Do just my. F- she's so funny. <laughs> I just want to get her. Re- <laughs> if, she she just, if, if you guys don't know, she's standing on the top turnbuckle right now. She's about to like. <laughs> She's about to do a WWE uh, uh, Smackdown uh, uh, for the uh, ceiling uh, uh, to the uh, bed. <laughs> just smash the lights. <laughs> her little, f- her little five foot butt. <laughs> no, so wait, as a, as a, as a result of you doing this thing for Sapphire, they give you the room, right? Yes. Are you? Do you feel like, um, do you feel like some obligation to like trash the room so that they know that you're hot shit? Like at the end, you just trash it like you're like. Yo, ACDC. no, <laughs> yeah, like this is like Sid Vicious <laughs> room right. or some shit, right? Like. <laughs> That would be fucking. It's I actually, yeah, actually, I was, I went to LA like the first time I went to California was 2013. I actually saw a replica of a trashed Sex Pistols room no after kidding. a concert. Yeah, it was shit and piss and broken lamp. It, they, really? they, they recreated the whole thing and everything was broken. Not one thing was in place. It was crazy. Yeah, it's a power move. Yeah, yeah. like I don't have it like that. I don't got it don't like know. that. And my agent that books the features would be very, yeah. very upset at me. But I think it's a, but it, it he would be so pissed. It could be a power move. It's my That's incidentals. That's you know when you're ready. It's my smash, uh, It's like, my incidentals also. Yeah, yeah. It's my. It's put it in the rider. They that paid I'm for it, but the room. The rooms are so small now, like uh, like everywhere that you could trash the room and it really you could. Uh, well, how much? It's like eighty dollars worth of damage. <laughs> the rooms are so small now. Yeah. Like back in Sex Pistol days, it was like. 
like a whole it'd be like the whole floor it was like a living room it's a lot you could yeah, do it was like yeah. a whole thing yeah, yeah. They don't do that anymore. yeah they're like look as long as we i put, miss i miss the 80s and 90s as long as we put leather on here Although I did stay in like an old style motel recently and it was huge, but it was like it was the creepiest shit I've ever seen. There was like there was three doors into it and and I only had the key to like one of the locks of like eight locks. And I was like, this is this is like where people get murdered. Like, this is the thing. Oh, my God. Like, pick your poison. And it was like, yeah, because then it was because then it was also it was like there's so much furniture in there that you're like, everything's probably got too many stories on it. At least here it's like, okay, cool. Like, there's like if you touch something, you're about to just, like, get a bad ghost on yeah, you, because, like, real quick. Yeah, because also, like, yeah, there was just, like, a cum, like, like, like salad. Like, just because there's so much. Like, in here, there's <laughs> only, like, three pieces of furniture. It's like, okay, of course they clean this. People look at a big room, and they're like, they haven't cleaned any of this. Right. You could have shat underneath the sofa, and they wouldn't find it for, like, two years. Right. This one, this takes eight minutes. Did you get to choose? Did you get to choose your art? That's, a, <laughs> that's another move you could do. No, that was all over downstairs too. It's very like, um, what do you call it? It's very, know. very Eastern here. It's like yeah, it's like a, it's a kid. Oh, because it's called the sanctuary, right? It's right. Like, oh, so it looks like it's like. Buddhist. You'll be gone by the time this comes out. I'm like, I just outed you. Um, yeah. Oh, so I wanted to ask you because I saw some other things. Yeah, probably. You saw some other things. What? What? Where? Where? What? No, by the time it airs, you totally can air it. Yeah, but no, yeah, but no, no, no but I wanted to know because I saw this some girl did an interview and then she had a copy of it. Do you ever give a copy for me yeah, to post on my love, OnlyFans? Yeah, I would love for you to post it. And the first one too? Yeah. You'll send it to 100%. me? 100%. So put it on my OnlyFans? Well, I was asking you what you wanted and I'll cut it up into whatever. You can have all things. Yeah, if you want to post them, I'd be, that w- I'd be ecstatic. Because then my fans can watch mine and Hell then go yeah. to yours for everyone else. Hell yeah. That's what I want. See, I didn't think, I thought about, I thought about exclusivity, but then I oh, saw that and that. I was like... I should ask no. everyone I've done an interview with if they want me to air an episode on my on, on my slot, OnlyFans, just put it out there, yeah. and then I can put it on the many vids and sell whole episodes and Hell like yeah. give you guys yeah yeah. That is that she just cut me out. Of, she just said she did. She cut me out of the commission. She was like, nah, it's no, it's just, this is <laughs> that's a good. Absolutely, okay, we're gonna do that. Look, look, that's dope. Look for that. Yeah, hundred percent for sure. Hundred percent, you can have that. Cool. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, and when I didn't hear, I was like, okay, she don't. She and don't if no one's that. ever offered it to me either, no, so then I saw that though. I'm like, well, I guess if you don't ask, you don't you get it. You know what? It's so hard, and you guys are so busy, but it's like it's so hard, like, to get a hold of people after interviews that like, it's like they're not gonna they're not gonna do any more work, generally. Mm, not me. I'm so not. I'm not that lazy of so a hoe. I'm, yeah. So I'm always like, okay, well, that's that's a wrap. I'm not gonna like like I could offer to like put it on the Instagram and stuff, but like they're probably not gonna share it and all that. So. Oh, I but do. Yeah, you want to? You absolutely. Okay. And we'll cut we'll cut this up th- this thing into 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 forty clumps. But let's talk about more mm. things so that the the interview isn't just talking about that we're gonna that we're gonna repost it. Okay. Just two hours of us talking about re reposting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so then let's talk about things. We can talk about me. Sh- yeah. Um we can talk about my AVN nomination. Okay. Congratulations. And that I was I'm on the list for the top blowjob scenes. Okay. And so that's really cool. So I get to go to Vegas. Do you, do you go to those things? I went. Uh, I went a lot, and then I haven't gone in two years, right? Because I don't even know if there was one last year. But uh, I know you know, there wasn't. I know for sure there wasn't one two years ago. It was all COVID. Yeah, canceled so I, everything. I went twenty twenty. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's the end. Right. That was. So this is the first one coming in. Oh yeah, yeah. It was only one off. It's my first season. Yeah, because it was pre-COVID. So yeah, I went twenty twenty. That was dope. And mm-hmm. uh, and I went to the award show with somebody's date, and I went mm-hmm. to the award show. It was cool. And then uh, I've been trying to host that bitch for a while. You th- you would be you would do good. It's so fun. I think um, you would do really really good. Yeah. So that's the thing. So put it put it. I'll on vouch the, for put you. Put it on the universe. Yeah. Um. So I went to the show. It was cool. But yeah, the whole night is just fun because it's just like everybody gets all dressed up and it's like it's about you guys. Yeah. And it's fun and it's a good weekend too because it's like I think it goes gay VN AVN, and then right before there's like. Um, and then it's X Biz after. X Biz in L A. Yeah. Yeah. Like immediately so after. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, smart. Um, Smart. So, have you ever watched any all erotic scenes where where they tattoo the girls while they're getting fucked? No, I don't know that one. You've never heard of that? No. What does that sound like a fetish that would turn you on? Not me, because I've never been tattooed, so I don't know what the thing is. I love tattooed girls, but I don't know that I need to see them getting tattooed. I've seen the ones where it's fake, like you get a tattoo and then you fuck the the dude. Right. I've seen that one. Yeah, I like I said the fake. like the story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, said, oh, I shouldn't have said fake, but uh, I've seen the ones. Where I mean, they, it's where acting. Get, yeah, you know, it's just and they fuck the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I don't know. so I don't know. So then what? You're getting tattooed. Yes, yeah, so I was gonna tell you. So fuck, while how does he not fuck it up? Uh, well, it's a chick who's the artist, so you're very misogynistic for that. 
<laughs> she, they, them, whatever. How does the artist not fuck up the thing? No, I was assuming that I the person... I have per- no idea. No, I yeah, she's probably... No, I was assuming that the person that was tattooing you was also fucking you. No. And not fucking up. So point. the girl's the artist, actually, and then I'm pretty sure I'm going to get fucked by a guy. So how does she stay on I think target? she's like super professional i don't know how they do it like they he probably ha- will do some tatting while you're getting fucked and then maybe they finish some in between rounds and like after i don't know and but he just has to fuck you like like gently i have no idea like i was like just pick the the easiest location for like whatever yeah. is the best to tattoo without it like being in the way so it's like the cleanest yeah but i almost don't care because that's it's been like a dream shoot that i wanted to do since i started oh, shit. since i started porn great i've wanted to go on all erotic and they like I knew people in Miami and Vegas that I was meeting when I started that were like, oh, we can like, you know, talk to them for you. Yeah. And like a year and a half Congratulations. later. Congratulations, shit. Yeah. I'm so hype, especially so like. you don't pick the art, you don't pick the. No, I do. I can pick, pick everything. Like, yeah, I'm making a cute butterfly. <laughs> so I was spread my books. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a cute butterfly I'm making a cute somewhere. butterfly. Yeah, I don't what even know it? where, but I'm gonna. Uh, where are Where aren't you now? Where aren't Where I? Aren't you tattooed? I'm. I have a lot of leg space. Yeah, you never give me. You never give me much of a show on these in these episodes. But it's all on the internet. <laughs> there's, there's nothing to hide. So where are? <laughs> where aren't you? On my where legs. Where are you? My legs are pretty, f- um, not tattooed. Like, I, I just don't have, have your f- body memorized. Yeah. Well, I'm just letting you know. Like, this is yeah. a lot of space right here. Yeah. My whole stomach is open. My whole butt cheeks and the back of my legs are all what open. Feel, what do you feel about? So like it used to be. Um, that like people would leave butt cheeks and boobies alone, and now it's kind of going the other way. What do you? F- w- is there an area that you feel like just needs to be left alone on 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 inked? I am not gonna speak on other people. Okay. Because I feel like when I see you know a hot person that does something that I couldn't do, or, like it, they pull it off, you know. Yeah. But for me, I probably would not get my nipples tattooed. Okay. You know. Like the way that Bonnie Ron got her spider webs, like they're yeah. super sick. I could I never. Them. I know. She I love them on her. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would not. I'm. I probably won't get my ass tatted for a while. I'm trying to grow it nice and fat and like not have like not. Okay. You well, know, tat it like right away. Yeah. Get it to a nice shape. Then maybe get some tasteful like a little peach or a little kiss mark. You know, something cute on my butt. Okay. I wouldn't get like, like some big like butterfly wings on my cheeks, you know. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I've seen the uh well I've seen the the octopus one a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. I've seen that. And it's and it's good, but it does It's it, hot. It does take out some of the it's it like depending on what you get, it takes out some of the, the effect of like the shape of Dude, of not of if you're into butt. tentacle porn. Yeah, I guess that's true. Not if you're into tentacle porn. Yeah. Well, it's good because it, right, it surrounds the the mouth. That's how all you can think about is inserting something long yeah. and round into a butthole. Yeah, I'm into that. Uh, and wait, I, I like I like who you become when you talk about what the, what the art might be. Yeah. Like kind of be, okay, let like me do it one more time then. I definitely would not get my pits tatted. Okay. I, f- I feel like that is just like way too painful for okay. people to not even really right, be right seeing it like, right like that. Right on the lymph node? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I won't I and I won't get my feet when you tatted stop talking again. And stare at me, I never know if it's going good or not. It's good. <laughs> if I'm looking at you, it's going good, trust so, me. So yeah, so it's all it's all lymph <laughs> nodes, none of the lymph nodes. And then my face. I can you, you won't get your feet? I have one foot tattoo, but it's yeah. it was so painful I felt like I was being crucified. I would never do it again. You got the stigmata? I have a joint tattooed on my foot. Which one? I just Where? will actually show the camera because I feel like people will love it. Let's go. And my toes. I have a little joint. You gotta hit it, you gotta hit it like this. Huh? All right. Um, so the bottom though, the bo- you won't do the bottom? I wouldn't do any part of my foot. I guess so. Yeah, I just recently had this is and this is this will age me out because you're talking about tattoos and I'm like, <laughs> I just went to the dermatologist. You have 1984 tattooed <laughs> on the bottom of your foot. <laughs> no, I just went to the dermatologist and they just took a chunk out of me and it was like the worst shit and then just trying to walk around to, they like went, they was like in my arch and, and you've been to the derma and they cut stuff off you? No, never. They're like, they're like, they're like, um, they're like serial killers. They just, they don't care. They just whooped in and then they're like, you're fine. It'll they be can't have feelings. They got to do this all day long. Yeah, but uh, anyway, so yeah, so, yeah. I, so I, from that standpoint, and 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 the amount that I like to be rubbed, I don't think I'd want to be tattooed <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, in no. the arch area, it's like it's like brutal. What about your face? We get your face tattooed? Yeah, I would, oh, and, really? and I will probably will at you? some point. Yeah. No shit. Oh yeah. Okay. I can see that. That's super hot. Okay. 
Yeah, like every time you talk about like what the tattoo might be, you become like a like a fourteen year old girl. Yeah, because it gets me excited. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. And I don't have to like not get ta- you know, like I can get a tattoo whenever I want and not have to worry about a corporate job. Yeah. My Catholic school, my parents, like yeah. do whatever the fuck I want and now I make money like looking a certain style in a certain way and I'm getting paid to literally get tattooed and fucked, you know. So yeah. All right. What a what a what a sound bite. Yeah. The um okay, so I know g- sh- dreams do come true. <laughs> so wait, uh we're we're right into the holidays. Did you did you do you get involved in Thanksgiving? Did you do a Thanksgiving? Yeah. What is what was your big what was your big Thanksgiving moment? What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Pie. The deep the deep the pie? The deep No, sauce. I'm like, I can't offend no one's food, but I'm definitely no. going to say the pumpkin pie, though. Nobody's going to nobody's gonna be offended except for the My people that favorite for thing you. is my mom's macaroni and cheese. Okay. She puts the stewed tomatoes in it. Okay. With the, the breadcrumbs on I'm top. I'm Italian, so it was never... Mac and cheese wasn't a part of my Thanksgiving. I just found out that this is a thing for people. You know what's crazy this year? My feed, I, I, I realized my feed was mostly like um, white people for Thanksgiving, so it was just like a bunch of non-seasoned like dried out turkeys and i was like i felt so bad about everything <laughs> it was the worst feed this year oh just like just like skin with no just nothing on it <laughs> just white meat it's just pink yeah <laughs> and it's like what did you do <laughs> what is this i saw one where it was uh um where mom was making canned hams with canned pineapples okay. and then the and then the people that came by brought hot dogs and i was like what is this oh glizzies <laughs> Ex- can you explain that to me what is a glizzy that's where i'm at i'm at the i'm at the age where can i don't she, understand she could explain it to what you. is a glizzy listen how would you say it meg a glizzy is a hot dog yeah but it is a fucking hot dog. what does it, it is mean? a glizzy is just is it a philly it's, it's a new york thing it's a new york yeah. thing now but now it's a philly it's thing it's a glitz. So what does it mean? It's the Oscar Mayer wiener. It's not like a regular, like, it's not like a good, like, it's just the packaged hot dogs. Like that meme where all the bitch got the hot dogs coming in her mouth, like yeah. glizzies. Why is it ne- Why is it negative? And it's like a, it's, I guess it's like a, I've been hearing it in Philly and she's from New York. Mean? So it's a hot dog. Yeah. What? Just every hot dog is a glizzy. Just glizzy. All right. Where does the word come from? It just sounds, it just sounds like cummy stuff right like it's that's prob- the goal well that's probably because it's like a hot dog right yeah. and it's very sexual you, you can't eat so a phallic yeah. object glizzy you just can't eat a you can't eat a hot dog in public anymore not without not without feeling awkward now <laughs> and hearing the word glizzy no <laughs> open your oh, mouth we and got a glizzy. yeah yeah <laughs> i live right by the high school i can I, just imagine uh this, i've seen this it kind of glizzy porn yeah oh, yeah what would that be like do you get into would you do food porn stuff yeah i would would you get? Do I've you, done some food what, porn. What would you get? You would just get that. Would be if, I didn't see. I haven't seen that yet. The um, I've done a little bit on my only just fans. getting just getting cool whipped or whatever. I so one of the customs that I got asked to do once was to dress up in my schoolgirl outfit. Yeah. And get pot. And I went to the store. I spent hundreds. I got paid. Obviously, he paid me like in advance. And I spent hundreds on whipped cream pie crust, and uh, wrap for the floor. And I got like ten pies together, and it was like you every single sh- one. And I would get undressed more and more, and then like a button, I would button down, and then I would have my person throw another pie I made, help me with the video, and then I got more nude, and then I just got fucking creamed with pie. Okay. For a video, Did and got paid sitting? like a thousand dollars for it. Did you have to sit in the pie. I was just standing, and like I just was tasting it, kind of like they wanted me to just like not really. They didn't want me to wipe out my eyes. Okay. They wanted me like yeah. stay miserable and like blind, yeah. But I was just like tasting it with my mouth, like I, so I had to sit there like my eyes closed, <laughs> and it was really fun actually. And then I, I've scored it on, you use? yeah, and straight then, whipped cream. And then how long were you tasting whipped cream? Like, because did you, did you uh, so I heard if you get it, I your smelled nose. milk in my hair. Yeah. I smelled milk in my hair for, for like a couple days. Yeah, that makes sense. I extra had to extra wash it. I don't know. I don't know if that's a fetish for me or not. But I remember when I was like fourteen. The only thing I could think of, I was like, let me get all my boys over for my birthday and let's do a pie fight. Uh, I think we did a pie eating contest and then and then like pieing each other. Cause mm-hmm. like, I don't know. Cause like, that was like a thing when I was a kid. It's like, yeah, people got pied. People got pied. Yeah. People don't get pied anymore. People don't get pied anymore. Why aren't people getting pied anymore? Gotta bring that back. People don't get pied. I mean, we get, I get, cream, I get sexual. cream pied. Yeah. You definitely get cream pied. Yeah. I feel like that's a good play on words and porn. Like imagine yeah. the fucking and then like at the end. The guy comes, 
And then you gotta smash like a mini pie on the pussy. Just pop. These are giving me really good ideas. Yeah. I'd love to see you direct your own stuff. I, I also would love to. Like when people ask like what I'm looking forward into the future and how long I want to shoot porn, I'm like, do you understand like the careers that I could do? Yeah. Like it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Do you know do you know I mean do you know uh, enough a lot about camera stuff now that you have to film on your own? I'm learning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a skill. I don't know about like lighting too much because I don't, y- y- you know, it's just hotels. Like I just do what I can. But yeah. I feel like once I had a studio and like backdrops and like really like had the, yeah, for sure. I don't know. And then you just, you pay good people that can teach you. So you use smart people and that's that. Sure. It's a smart thing to do. That's a smart way hire to Hire a team, it. really. You hire a thing and then. Uh, <laughs> that's what I would do. And then, and then just. Like you should know how to do it yourself anyway. Yeah. But, but why not have them. someone at least pay them for a session on how to teach and you. And pay to attention, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you just low-key, just pay attention when it's happening. Yes. Am I, having a, am I having a stroke or the lights just flicker? It would be a good episode that if I just had a stroke. Lights flickering That's outside, definitely happening too. there, but I think this one just popped out. Maybe. I don't know. Please don't have a stroke. That would be, uh, be, that'd be, that'd be watchable content. Please don't. Like Dan dies. You know, and, and it's a shame that we're actually not fucking because I've always wanted to kill die? somebody while fucking them. No. Does that exist? In my head. Like fake snuff stuff? In my head, I want them to stroke out and have a heart attack because Fuck. I'm fucking them so good. Yeah. And they're probably old and rich, too. Yeah. But if they're not, still, I feel accomplished. I'm, I'm almost old enough to be that fantasy. Yeah. Yeah, you are? What, 50? How close are you like, to 50? Not close. How then dare you're, you? I don't know. I'm not even. 40. I don't know. The older, the better. I know that. That's why I'm saying, like, you're actually not close. You said, "Oh, I'm about, I'm about oh. that age." Like, no, you're not. You're like be, half that age. It would be, a, it would be unexpected that I would die, which is why, right. which is like, it's like that's how much better. That you're oh, okay, like, that yeah, would make yeah. it even better then yeah. for sure. Like, like if you don't have a pre, you don't have a pre-existing yeah. condition, and I'm still <laughs> making you clock out. Because if you're an old man, you, like you expect that he's gonna die. Right. right? That is the easy target, huh? And you always, I do get frustrated with people when they're talking about like. But it's really like people hot. that died. It's overpowering. In their in their life, and then you're like, oh, how'd he die? And you're like, oh, he had a heart attack. He was 70. It's like, that's what he was supposed to do. That's how it goes. Yeah, so to have to, to be 39 and look young younger. But then I would feel more die. guilt because I'm robbing more of your life, whereas I that see. man's life was kind of over, and he probably was that's sent fair. out the best way possible that yeah. he could have imagined. Yeah. Like whereas for a 39-year-old, like, you're probably going to have some more hot sex. Yeah. You're probably going to, like, maybe get a hot wife. And you don't need to die before your kids are born. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But everything's a fetish. I've had this idea for quite some time. Ever since fetish. I was a stripper and I started getting really old customers that like were you so You want it to really happen. You don't want to just make the kind of you I don't care really if it's do it. on a video or <laughs> not. I would like for it to be on a video. You but want it to really happen. I don't care if so, it is. So I'd probably rather it not so I don't get accused of murder. So if you kill somebody so okay, so the closest you get accused of murder now. So the closest <laughs> you could get is 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 having somebody stroke out and not get fucked up. Uh, or like have a heart attack and then make it to the hospital. Bro, put him in as close as you can yeah, get put him and in have c- it feel good about it. Yeah, I would rather it just happen. I want to watch yeah. it like as I'm like coming and they're like lights are going out. Yeah, it's cl- it's like it's but it's close to the same thing. It's close to the same like like you're choking her and she's like kind of yes. drifting. Oh, it's that yes. same space. Oh, that's so hot. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if I'm dying of a heart attack. That is so do hot. I, I just had a flash. If I die and I'm having the heart attack, do I am I do I get to come? Yes. Or am I just gonna shit myself? It probably would come out voluntar- un- involuntarily. I don't know. I don't know if that like because there's there's so many times where you th- where like that 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 like that line just gets uh like cut out. So like cut like come doesn't just get to always dribble out. Like if you're on the way and then something else happens, you're then, right. Then P takes over. So I think you lose it. I think it goes back in. Damn. Waste it. I'll make sure to finish the guy first. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder if you can. But no. The, uh, but the climax would be what puts the them off so right, then you don't even finish. The coming is right. the death. That's literally Blue like balls a, for life. It's like, the, it's like the greatest end of like a Broadway show. Just, and then. <laughs> voila. And then they close the curtain. No, yes. Yes. That's hot. Toesy. So then, well, then the problem is, and then how many, and then how many more, like, so then you've killed one guy. So then now you got to do it uh, like a DP death scene. I feel like one is enough. I don't know. What it's just I? a one time thing. It's just okay. like, don't, well, it's don't just a one time. Don't ruin my kink. Now I'm in, now I'm in the space where two people are dying. 
Okay. Okay, inside of you. Okay. And coming simultaneously. Okay. I think that's I think that's more fun. Wait, wait, wait. So then if uh, in yours is he coming in So then are those is he, is he ghost go- babies? Like what is that? I don't know. That'd that's pretty fun. wild. You got to tell that you, you got to tell your child. Be like, "Mommy's pussy's so good. I killed a guy." Your father and another guy. <laughs> I don't want that responsibility. <laughs> that's a great story. I don't though. want that responsibility. Well, no, you're going to have to lie to the child, but either way you're going to fuck this child up. Because eventually they're going to either find out the truth or it's like the story isn't going to add up anymore. I mean, it's going to be fucked up because it's fatherless. So, so right there is enough. That's true. So if you kill a guy, do you want to kill him with your pussy or with your asshole? Either one. Yeah, but what's the fantasy in your head? My pussy, I think. All right. It's more primal. Primal? Okay. Because are you, yeah, are you getting impregnated when it happens? No, probably not. I wonder how long. <laughs> I wonder how long after. Unless they're rich, probably I wonder not. How long ha- after he dies is his sperm still good? Yeah. Right. Like, is is there still active sperm? Yeah. If your brain lives like for five minutes past your your body death, then I think your sperm. I think my is living cells up in that bitch. Yeah, I think my sack. I think my sack yeah, stays. Yeah, and I it's like warm and everything, like for yeah. the moment. Well, no, it'll go cold quick. Maybe that's what that's what'll kill it, right? Yeah, but if the cum comes out, then that's dead. It's you're good to go. We've gone really far down this road. So you ki- so you kill a guy with a the cum, then you then you slice his nutsack off, and then you keep it. And I put it in a jar. Yeah, I eat them. I eat them. You eat, just drink it. Eat the balls. So recently, so my girlfriend was asking me to like save up. For what? Of the sex? Like, no, save up my cum, like for her. Oh, okay. And I can't. I'm like, I'm like turned on and slightly perturbed by it. Like, Why perturbed? Because I because because uh, it's like how much is too much. Like, like how, how much can I fill up? Also, that's a lot of work. Wait, you're filling up a cup with your cum? Yeah, so and like that's a lot of work. It? Yeah. Is it actively? F- or or just like throw it in her face like a glass of wine in a fight? You know? Oh, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that before. I I never. Ch- That'd be a fun one. That would be fun. I never. Ch- no, but I've never heard of a girl asking you to fill a dude. cup up with your cum like yeah. over time or like in one sitting, see what you can like. No, I, how much I you ha- can put in it. No, or? I have a, I'm, I have a pretty healthy shot, but I'm not filling a cup. Right, that's in a one lot. Shot. It's a lot of work. Like here's you would have problem. to not fuck for months and here's then hope that all right, of it comes right, out. Here's the right. So it's like this weird problem because because it's only gonna stay in the fridge for 14 days. I Google it. So it's only gonna stay in the fridge for 14 days before it like kind of turns. And so you're in the fridge with it and you can't really freeze it. It doesn't do anything. You mm-hmm. can't do that. You don't have a freezer that's going to do work. So you're putting it in the fridge and you only really have 14 days. But the, to be able to fill a thing in 14 days is so difficult. Yeah. So I'd get like. I'd like, get like how are you supposed to save up nut while like s- simultaneously nutting all right. the time? And then I'd get a quarter and then she got COVID. So I was like, well, all this. C-. So then I literally I was like, all this cum is going to go bad. No. Like, was like, now that's when you splash her in the fucking face. I was so. Well, I, could, I couldn't see her because she got COVID. So I was like, I, like, in, like, I was so frustrated. I was like, I was like, but what am I going to do with all this cum that I saved up? Just call another bitch. It's going to go bad. I'm calling my other bitch. It's over. so funny. That's all she's worried about. She like came in, looked at the first. She's like, where's this cum? Nope. Better still have all my Brenna came and stole cum. it. <laughs> Better still have all my spoiled cum in your fridge. No, it's impossible to fill it up. It's like the hardest. It's the hardest task. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Is that would you would you drink would you drink a would you drink a, a fucking flask of cum? If it was yeah, if it was a good tasting cum from Shot someone glass? I knew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fucking. Pop. I mean, the things that I've already done on video with filling but it's up. Not that much. <laughs> I've drank bowls of fluids. Okay, fun. Yes, I could do it with fun. a good tasting cum. I've drank my own squirt, my yeah. own vomit out of a bowl. Yeah, spit all being drooled into you know a pimp cup and then swallow it. You know, a cum okay. shot out okay. of a glass, taking oh. taking a cum shot out of a girl's asshole and then drinking it. Okay, it's not you know it's all right. I would Bi- definitely business as usual. <laughs> yes, I never. I got scenes splash. where girls are just fountaining like in my mouth. You know, yeah. it's just amazing. Yeah. Yes, oh. and so I definitely. And then one person brought up Bukaki the other day, and this maybe goes to your point that I got really turned on when I saw like all that come that it was yeah. like all over her face. Yeah, it was like a you know supernatural amount of glaze like come like she couldn't you know she was all couldn't open her eyes yeah. and it's like in her nose. And I got so fucking turned on. Yeah? Yeah. Thinking about that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, like she's literally being slimed 
by cum. Just a bucket. You know? That'd be fun. Like, you're just dominate. Like, you're owned. We like, you're living start. for the cum. You're dying yeah. by the cum. Like, you're a... C- we should start our, own. Keep we should start our own, like, sex prank show where, like, people are getting... Actually, I guess they do it in Jackass where they... Where they they um, do. Yeah, they slime dudes with, like, uh, pig and horse cum. That's disgusting. In, uh, in, in Jackass. I think I might... I know. I might want to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Slime me and horse cum. Yeah. Just bucket somebody. Yeah. Everything's a fetish. Yeah. I have a friend who's friends with them who's doing some actual like sex stunts. I don't know if I can out their shit, oh, so wow. I'm so I'm not, but he's a he he's in the industry and he's working with yeah. Steve O and they're doing oh, great. stuff. Yeah, um, because they love they love they love like attacking dick or like seeing how much damage a dick can take. Which it, a dick can take a lot. Yes. Of damage, yes. Surprisingly. Yeah, I don't know if I can s- I wish I could shout him out, but yeah, it's really cool. You think you can't shout out the person? I don't know if it's a secret or not. I don't know if it's like a secret project or not. All right, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for you. Yeah, we'll but, leave he, it for your but he does out. really crazy stunts with his dick and with his asshole, so. Oh, I know who you're talking about, actually. You do? I think I know who you're talking about. I'm going to I'm gonna reference the different, and without names, but I, but but definitely I know somebody who could put their both of their balls in. Yeah. And then so spit them out. I, so this guy, he's like going to try to like pull like a truck, you know, with a dildo, like with his ass and like, Great. you know, like all the stuff that he can actually do. It's like, like anal with Steve-O. Yeah. So I feel like I have it in to get slimed by some horse yeah. cum. I don't think. What's funny is I don't think you need to know for OnlyFans to know the jackass guys to get slimed with with no, horse but I'm not just gonna go to any <laughs> unreputable <laughs> source. I mean, you just need to know somebody with a horse. Watch really. you go. <laughs> you go to a farmer, right? You're like, yo, can I get the horse listen, come? Listen, they hear will, me out. They will actually give you a bucket with their own cum and tell you it's horse cum because they've been waiting no, for this fucking moment forever. No, because it's gonna take so long to fill a bucket. No, that's with your just how nasty. No, I that's promise. how nasty they are. Believe that if they're willing to give you horse cum, <laughs> they actually have a bucket of they, their own cum saved up for the right moment. They would definitely sneak one or two bops in. Yeah, and some spit. <laughs> they can't spit. No, they would. But no, it takes. I so promise long. you. I, I prom- promise you. I promise you. It takes a long time. No, to fill they've up been. A they're ready for it. With your own cum, so long. <laughs> it takes forever. It takes. Uh, it takes uh, questionably long, especially because <laughs> I'm like, I'm like a, I'm a masturbatory pig. Like, I, like I, I could get five in a day, and even then, I can't fill this fucking thing up. It's like it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, just, I never. I really, I really want to do that. Now. I just want to fucking put it in a, in a, in a get glass. the vitamins that make you come a lot. I come a lot now, and it's still, it's still not, it's still not gonna happen. I wish I was a horse so I could fill a bucket. With them. No, but yeah, you could definitely just go to anybody who has like a who has like a pig farm and just ask them for a cum. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Wow! And uh, what a what a what a way for this to turn out. Don't get koala come, because koalas koalas all have chlamydia, right? That's the big fact. I don't know big why you're, I don't know why you're looking at me and asking me that. Big facts. <laughs> I think because this is what happens: people go to Australia and they go to the thing and they hand them a koala and they go, "Fun fact: um, all koalas have chlamydia." And they're like, "What?" And you like want to throw this fucking koala back at them because you're like, did you just hand me a chlamydia uh, koala and then tell me about it? Oh, like, no. At least give me like a minute. Like let I've me never heard that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% of koalas have, have chlamydia. 100%. 100%. It's kind of like, um, yeah, it's like, well, I think it's like, I think it's like humans and HPV now. But also, like, I think it's, I think it's like everybody, it's, it's like the same thing as like the, um, what are they called? The retirement homes? Like everybody in retirement homes, like just passing around. Um, the COVID. Clap. Which one's the clap? I don't know. I don't get these things. Which one's the clap? Syphilis? <laughs> anyway. Chlamydia. Chlamydia is the clap? Mm-hmm. Do you just look it up? Or you just know? No, you just got that. No, I know that. You just got that ready. <laughs> Listen. So funny. What was I going to ask? Um, okay, wait. So where where did you do your Thanksgiving? In Jersey. You do in Jersey? Yes. And did you, did you do the same tradition? Or did you have a new thing this year? Yeah, same, same, thi- same, no, same thing. Pre- it's n- nothing crazy. It's not even a tradition. It's just dinner. It's nothing. Yeah. Any, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Any like, crazy like family fights? No. Nope. Nobody, nobody like, nobody like ended the, uh, like the dinner with like. No. That's why I divorced your ass. No. None of that. No, 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 not this year. Uh, uh-uh. uh. I didn't. Go, last year I went. I didn't go this year. This is my first year I didn't go. And uh, last year I went, and me, this is me and my brother, and then my parents like invited a couple. Okay. And then they were just like hanging out with a couple. And me and brother were like, what the fuck are we here? We're like, flew to Florida. Like, why are we here? Right. We're just like in Florida, like hanging out with my, we're on like a double, double dating date with and my shit. Yeah, yeah, it was very so strange. awkward. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Was like, everything, was, everything was good. 
good, good, good. Yeah. Goodness. So you're okay. So this is this is round two on Sapphire. Yes, what happened it is. the first time? Notable, notable stuff. Um, and what do you expect of fans when they come to see you? What do I expect from them? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if I really expect too much. Like, it's to only my second show. You like, dip, you want them to buy dances? Oh, of course. But I mean, I do do the dances in rooms and um, and pictures. I at least want them to come say hi and get a picture with me at least. Like, that would be like what I would want them to do. And um, last time it was cool. It was a thrill like an adrenaline rush you know and i had a lot of friends with me and um it was really really exciting yeah they came up and supported for my first one nice and it was really special good and then i partied a lot with everyone after there was even a a group there from south philly oh having a bachelor party oh shit so i went back yeah, nice. and I got to like network with everyone. I think I made new friends and new fans. So nice. that's honestly what I think about. Are they going to be there now, you think? There are going to be some. There have been some of the same fans that went to my first one that were actually also came to Exotica okay. to see me at the table nice. for during our interview, you know, um, that weekend. And I saw some familiar faces there, so then they're going to be coming again. They kind of like show up and they're in the area and they love this stuff, and they go to all of the porn features because they just support the industry. So that's dope. Hell yeah! So what happens? So the the whole night happens, and then at midnight they go, "Here's your here's your uh, your big ticket item." Yeah, and I think basically. And yes. then what? And then you have a set that you planned out. Do you, do you have like you dance regularly? So you do, do you have like people that don't dance necessarily will have like a like a like a set list, and they'll have like literally like a show. And like a whole thing they're gonna do. Do you do is any that, of that, or you just that, wing it? Is that what you just did? So all of that. I don't know. What, I don't know what that's supposed to you mean. Know? I mean, or do you do you wing it, or do you have an exact show that you're gonna do for ten minutes? No, I don't do an exact show. I don't have any special skills or anything like that. You're gonna come out with like a choreographed. I'm thing. just a stripper. No, but I feel like that's <laughs> a, I feel like people that, that are, so the people that get uh, that end up doing the the feature dancing that uh-huh. that didn't start as a stripper. Okay. Overthink it, and then I think they'll do like a choreographed dance. Yeah, I don't. And cho- that's fun too. I don't think I have to choreograph. it. I don't it. think you do either. That's yeah. What I'm asking. So no, I don't choreograph it. It's come out like I just know. I just know if my sister ever got like a um like a feature dance somewhere, she'd come out like all choreographed to like everything, every move. I mean, I so had butterflies, like but I'm not nervous enough that I would like need like you know to to do that. But also like I don't do crazy pull tricks or anything yeah. like wild that I would have to uh, plan or like right. do anything. You know. You're just gonna work the room. I can just do things. Um, w- and I just row? am like myself. I don't really care too much, but I want to meet people the most, and I want them to come up to stage, you know, and like tip me and talk to me the most. That's what I want. All right. And then come and get a picture with me. Yeah, that's my little. Uh, that says this says we. Yes, got, yes, we got yes. This says it's time to nap. <laughs> um, I, I had one question, but now I forgot what it was. Um, think of another one. Oh, make it good on the spot. Shit. Yeah, real freaky. Um, no, it was linear, but now it's gone. It's gone forever. Gone forever. Um, what else? What else? What else do you want to? What do you want to leave us on? Um. Oh, I will. I will leave you on this. Yeah. I will leave this, and this will be the first time that I announce it to somebody besides my OnlyFans and Twitter, for everyone to see. Um. But when I hit a hundred thousand followers on Twitter, I'm gonna do a fuck a fan raffle contest. Okay. So I feel like for people who see this, just follow me. How do we for the details on that? Okay. I'm going to put out the rules. I'm not going to say all the rules, but my Twitter is at 85,000 followers right now, basically. So when it hits 100,000, I am going to fuck a a real fan. I'm going to pick one and they'll have entries and be able to, you know, maybe buy buy entries or or um, win them some way. I told everyone on the Internet that if you've come to see me at an Exotica or a performance Mm -hmm. or if you've come to see me at a strip club that I'm working at. I'll, you know, work out a free entry so people have, like, you know, an experience with me. Okay. And so that's, like, the most exciting thing that I think I have to look forward to, okay. which, which will happen in a few weeks. So I'm sure I'll hit 100,000 soon. Is that how fast that'll happen? And that's a big, th- yeah, it's a big deal. Because of the announcement or that's or that's the rate that you're going? No, that's just that's just going to be there soon. Regardless. Yeah. All right, we'll get in there, get the follows. Yeah. Uh, Try to f- try to fuck Brandon McKenna. Yeah, I want to fuck a fan. So that's why I want everyone to come see me, come to my OnlyFans, get the rules, just support me, and then I want to give you guys some love back. What's your OnlyFans? Maybe I'll pick more than one fan to fuck. Oh, I'm a horny shit. bitch. Oh, shit. I'm 
might I might pick the top five fucking she's donors. She's coming for hearts. <laughs> she's coming for heart attacks and strokes. Yeah. Your ass is. Well, gone. I'm a whore, and I do miss Kill fucking randoms every once in a while yeah. to make their life complete. You know. Yeah, I remember. I remember your. That's just what I do. I remember, yeah, I remember your Tinder stories. You're yeah. Like the starting point. Yeah. She's oh, well, this good. is what I was going to ask you. This is what I was going to oh, ask okay, you. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, you said you you said you're growing your ass. So how how do we how do we grow an ass? You work out. What are you doing specifically? And like, what? How do you know when you're done? How do you know when you've reached the ass that you're looking for? I'll know when I fucking see it. I'll know. I'll know when I'm done growing it. It's gonna be organic, though. I'm not gonna pop out with a BBL and be like, "Look, I found some ass." But That's my favorite I'm doing one. squats, okay, and I'm doing my high, my fire hydrants, and my dirty dogs, and my glute bridges, and I'm gonna grow some booty. That's my favorite. And I have a, and I'm twerking in my bedroom. Is when they do um. Did you say BBL for Zumba? Yeah. Oh, so it's my yes. favorite when they'll yeah when they'll get the when they get the surgery and then like and then they spend the next two months like pretending to do squats on Instagram. Pretty like, much. Oh, yeah. come on. Yep. Um, I know. And then you follow them and you <laughs> think they're perfect and you're like not knowing. I watched you buy that. That shit. they're only doing squats to maintain the right. BBL they just right. got. <laughs> right. Or make it look like they they put the work in. Yeah. Uh, what was it? For okay, a so fitness plan. So let's kill a fan <laughs> with our vagina. Let's and kill asshole. a fan. Um and then uh let's fuck a fan. What uh, what's your uh, what is your OnlyFans? Brenda McKenna B R E N N V M C K E N N V. It's the same as my um social medias. Dope. Um, yeah. any new platforms you're on that we don't know about? No. Where do you have you have ma- you have many Instagram, vids? Twitter, OnlyFans, and I will be loading up a many vids. I'm sure by the end of the year. And then do you have do you, have, do you are you in control of your content on Pornhub? I don't do that. I don't do that. But they, but you're on there, and you can, and you can, and you can apply and control your content. I have a page on there, but I do not upload anything on Pornhub. Okay. I think people have stolen my identity on Pornhub. No, they definitely tag you for the stuff that you've already been. Yeah. In. Yeah. I mean, of course, my uh, I'm on there. I'm on yeah. everything. But, but before that, I don't have a Pornhub account. But before that, there could be a bunch of you, and it's like tagged the wrong person. That's so what they, it is. They got it, but they got hand. They got a handle on it recently. Yes, last a couple of years. like they're not going to be official. Like I have an account and it's officialized with my ID. Yeah. So once I upload, I'm sure I will. But I just not, I just can't even think about that. I'm getting a hot flash just thinking about it. I don't want to think about <laughs> okay. that. All right, we'll I can on. barely handle let's, OnlyFans. Let's get her to one o one hundred k. Let's get you like nine assistants. Um, <laughs> let's get you to hundred k, and um, let's get let's let's make let's make your uh, death glizzy, uh, <laughs> uh, pig. pig Horse cum splash um, cream pie video. Yes. Uh, everybody follow and uh, watch. That's fine. Yeah, wow. They have here. so much to look forward to <laughs> now. <laughs>